there probably aren't any so-called easy groups in a, in a, in a world, after a World Cup draw. You know, when I spoke to a lot of my friends and colleagues, a lot of these coaches who are at the World Cup are people I've known for many years because I've been in football a long time and have, have a, you know, often quite a close relationship with. And I don't remember speaking to anyone who actually said to me, we were lucky, we got an easy draw, we will qualify without any shadow of doubt because this is a World Cup and there are no easy qualifications. What made our group perhaps slightly more difficult was that you know we were seeded number two, uh, but we also got Italy in our group because France, of course, are taking part this year, albeit they're not trying to qualify. So we were the team that got Italy, who are, of course, also a second seed, if you like. They'd have been in the same group as us. So we were a little bit unfortunate in that respect, and uh, it's going to be three very tough games. But to be honest, we were aware that going to that draw in Florianopolis, we were pretty likely afterwards to be saying, this is a tough draw, this is not going to be easy, it will be very difficult for us to get out of the group, and that's exactly how it turned out to be. On the second part of the question about playing South American teams and one Central American team, that was nothing to do with Uruguay as such. This, we, we made these decisions about who we wanted to play before we knew we were even playing Uruguay. You, you know, we, we didn't had the chance to leave it quite that late. But one of the reasons we chose to do it is because as a European team, we don't get the chance to play against South American, Central American, Asian, African opposition very often, but we do play an awful lot of games against European teams. So, for example, in my 25 games, all but maybe three or four have been against European opposition. So this was a chance to get the balance right and also, of course, to play teams that play a little bit differently because we hope that, apart from Uruguay, if we do progress in the tournament, we might meet teams from South America or Central America again.